Hello and welcome to Show Up Stand Out Online Visibility Expert Series for Entrepreneurs. And my name is Juliette Stapleton and I'm a visibility strategist. And today I want to introduce you to Alison Lombard. Alison, where are you? I never asked you, where are you now, right now? All the way from where? I'm in the eastern United States in a small college touristy town. Okay, so all the way from there. <laughs> Guys, I want to introduce you to Alison Lombard. Alison is uh, building an online business just like we all are here. And I want to talk today about the uh, subjects of confidence and building your business and showing up as you are. And who is the best person to for me to talk to? Myself and Alison, we know each other for probably around a year. We're in the same space. We kind of watch each other grow. And it's it's really exciting uh, for me because I read Alison's posts on Facebook and I really resonate with a lot of things that she's saying. And I see that her, she's commenting on my post. So this is the best time. I am so delighted. Alison, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Let me start. Like I am going to want to ask you to tell your story in short, uh, who you are, where you're from, what do you do, and all these things, just so our viewers know um, who you are. Sure. So ever since 1993, I've known that I've wanted to be a woman. Ever since 1998, I've known that I wanted to use my knowledge and my communicative ability to help people. And I'm from the Eastern United States. I spent two and a half years in China, which I can talk about at some point. And when I was there, I had a powerful transformation. I realized what I wanted to do. I wanted to get on stage. I wanted to talk about being authentic and going after what you really want and share it with university students and other people and just really be helpful in that way. And I had an opportunity to do that for a little while. And I transitioned here. Um, I transitioned a, an interesting word to you. So I transitioned back to the United States about three years ago and I started a business there, both online and offline. And I'm um, trying to think, 2017, early 2017, February or so, I started coming out to more and more people, especially people I knew online and in person. And so that was kind of my online coming out party. So I'm going to picture here, picture there, all that good stuff. And then maybe three months ago, I really started coming out in person and, you know, going out and doing my stuff. And I'll tell you really quickly, we'll get at this in Q&A. I'm just going to tease a little bit. I swear the key is to not half-ass it. The key is to go full bore and all out and not be ashamed of your shit. I guarantee you when you do that 99 times out of 100, people will respond well to you. Everything will be great. It'll be awesome. And the, so quick thing, and then we'll Q&A it. Here's the secret. It starts with you. The shit that you feel inside will be reflected by the universe back to you. Whatever that is, so, so whether it's shit, whether it's awesome, whatever it is, it starts with you. It's all about you. I should be pointing at you, not at me, but right. So that that's that's my that's my single takeaway. Remember that, if nothing else. And I'm looking forward to talking to Juliet and getting you fearless on camera. What an introduction! And this is why I brought Alison here. This is what I see in her post. And you know what? I know Alison from 2017, so I know everything that she's saying about having a few profiles. And you know, I remember Alison before and now. And there is a difference. Uh, I love this word transition, actually, transformation, because I see Alison's pictures in the last three months. And I see this face that is happy and glowing and genuine. You can see when somebody is genuinely happy on their pictures. It's in the eyes. It's in the way how, you know, the face glows. And this is for me. I did a, a couple of lives on my on my personal profile about what makes me happy. And this glow in the face, the seeing glow is uh, fantastic. And then when, when if you contributed to that, that's just like amazing. So mm -hmm. I can see that you are really happy with you. what you're doing. And as you said, because you're happy, everything is aligned with that and and the reactions of people around you as well and you know what mm -hmm. we can you never know until you try right and yeah. it's always very scary to do it for the first time <laughs> and it could be so some things now this is guys this is you don't have to change from you know a man to a woman or you don't have to be like sometimes you know to Make your hair blonde. You might be saying, oh my God, what will they say? <laughs> do you know what I mean? These are, it's, there's different scale, but you could be still scary to do something. But unless mm -hmm. you do it and you try it, you will not know. Yeah. And this is, this is where I find people who are afraid to start. You're, you're missing out. You're losing out. 
of on not knowing how is it gonna go and also um you know sometimes you know if you do something and there might be someone wrong a wrong person in your environment who didn't react positively well try a few times you know you have to also find you don't come out um you know of your shelf in front of somebody who is not receptive to you you of course you trust into people first that are supportive already and then from that support you become more confident and and the world aligns the world allows you um the the right to change in a way I have noticed you know um, and I've done a lot of things like this in my life where I've changed things completely I've changed my directions and burned bridges and started completely new things and yes it's not always uh, was recept received very well you know by people around those people who who don't accept you eventually they actually kind of disappear from your life very shortly it's not they don't do anything to they might try to do something to hurt you but you just you don't have to fall for it either you know because something, if you feel good inside, isn't it the best thing? It is, for sure. So, we are talking here about, you know, the, these issues about being aware of what makes you, makes you happy, um, being aware of, of how you love yourself. Can, can you tell me, I, like in your opinion, and when you talk to people in colleges, and, you know, what is it for you to, to value yourself or to be kind to yourself? Okay, kind to yourself, out of yourself. Okay, so I'll, I'll frame that as self-love. It's one yes, of the things I teach in one of my courses. Yes. So self-love has two sides. It's two sides of the same coin. The first is saying yes to what you really want and knowing what that is and going after it. In my case, it's feeling feminine, feeling sexy, feeling purposeful, feeling useful, and doing whatever I can to feel that way because that's what makes me feel good. The other side of that coin, however, is saying no to that which doesn't serve you. This is about short-term versus long-term. This is about boundaries, budgets, standards. So get the wax. Do that. Realize that's probably going to be 500 bucks for a full body wax or whatever it is you get. That's, you know, what it typically costs me. And by the way, I'm probably not getting mine this month because I spent $500 on coaching for something else. So being an adult is about making choices and being okay with those choices and living within your boundaries, your budgets, and your standards. So I could give you other examples, but I think that's a pretty good start. Well, yes, absolutely. And uh, this is a good example, what you said about, you know, choosing whether you're going to go and spend money on your appearance, even if it makes you, you good. Or that, That's the same thing when you're building your business, yeah, regardless, mm -hmm. regardless of uh, if it's self-care or something, you know, you, you always make these choices, but you have to uh, choose things that serve you and mm -hmm. don't do things, also don't do things on a hype, you know, if you just got kind of, you know, you need to look inside and see definitely if it feels good to do something. Something. Even if it's maybe something against what some gurus are suggesting you do, I find that the more you ki kindness to yourself in business for me is mm -hmm. actually going and doing things that work for me. For example, in my case, in discovery calls that really showed, you know, I feel very uncomfortable if I am on a discovery call uh, and people are pressurizing me and giving them the credit card details there and then. And mm -hmm. I feel like when I started doing my discovery calls, I thought this is something that I feel extremely uncomfortable with. So so why would yeah. I put anybody through this on my call? Sure. And I've, and even though everybody said to me straight away, no, 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 don't let them go. Give them 72 hour deadline. Mm -hmm. I said, no, no, they'll take as long as they need because if they're right people, they'll be back straight away. If they're not right people, they, I don't need them. It right. doesn't serve me. Right. And that yeah. made me feel very good. I actually never had a no on discovery call because they just don't come back. You know, so mm -hmm. it's not a, it's not a problem. But yeah. it's, a, it's all about this, the choice that is in alignment with, mm -hmm. with who you are. Yeah. Isn't that right? It, absolutely. Your, your values are who you are and your standards are what you do. That's, that's really what it is. So figure out what your values are. Mine are authenticity, honesty, integrity, transparency. I'm having difficulty describing some of yours. Perhaps you can share some of those with your people. What are your values if you don't mind sharing? <laughs> This is, this is exactly what you just said. Authenticity, acceptance, um, being kind to yourself, being kind to people, but not tolerating as well. My, one of my values is just not tolerating um, negativity, cruelty, not tolerating fake, um, you know, anything fake. You know, if you're mm -hmm. trying to pretend something you're not, th this is not going to get down well with me. I appreciate being honest. I'm, I'm appreciating when you communicate with honesty and mm -hmm. and... Sometimes it's just being yourself, honesty to yourself. 
first sure. and, and foremost. Um, I think to me the worst uh, the worst thing is when somebody um, doesn't doesn't respect you enough to be honest with you. That's the worst thing. If I find out I work with somebody, for example, and then they went and behind my back did something that undermined me, and I just feel like, why couldn't you just come back and come to me? and sure. tell me you're doing this then it's honest and I, then i don't mm -hmm. feel i don't feel bad so this this is these are the things that um that i respect but i think being authentic is the most important thing and it annoys me that this word is so overused in the modern marketing but it's still my word and i just sure. stand by it you know this is what it is and uh yeah <laughs> that's what i am <laughs> Yeah. All of my saying? words are overused. Authentic, abundance, empowerment, and every uh, every single other word you use, it's it's in my lexicon somewhere. It's true. It's true. What makes you happy? Feeling feminine, feeling sexy, feeling purposeful and useful. I mean, those are those are kind of my four biggest things. If if I'm being just concise and honest about it. Yeah, expand. <laughs> I think you're so. Really good to all right, so 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 feeling feminine, you know that that should be relatively obvious. I mean, yes. and being sexy along with that, I mean, I might as well be. That that makes me feel really good. Um, being in alignment with my purpose. So my purpose is to use my knowledge and my communicative ability to help people. So I'm reading books and I'm doing a bunch of online research and I'm learning as much as I can about personal development, about business development in the past two and a half years, and then being useful, being helpful. To other people by using you know that knowledge and communicative ability that I have. So long as I get all four of those things in you know discrete segments of, of life, I feel very happy. I feel very confident. I feel very joyful. So, how do you deal um, with judgment? So, <laughs> love the question. It's in one of my courses, the one I just Oops. wrote. <laughs> so, all right. First thing. So, two things about judgment. Judgment starts with you, right? Whenever you feel judged by someone else, that's really you judging yourself and then rationalizing that judgment. The second thing about judgment is judgment is a conscious choice. So what happens, the way our brains work, is we've got three parts of the brain. We've got a brain stem, our limbic system, and then our neocortex up here. And so our first response to the environment, to external stimuli, is a bodily reaction, something in the body, your shoulders shrug, your eyes blink, your nostrils flare, your lips purse, whatever it is. It, it's an unconscious reaction to your environment, and people can read that. That's how you cold read rooms and good, fun stuff like that. And then there, you get a feeling usually, a good feeling, a bad feeling, some kind of feeling about something. Then and only then, once it's gone through those two processes, you form thoughts, you form language. Oh, well, you know, so-and-so is a bad mother, or this or that, or the other thing, or why is that person pain handling, or whatever the case may be. So you, you've got your impulse. I call it fight, flight, or fuck. I hope you don't mind cuss words. I do cuss sometimes, right? And then there's there's the feeling that you have, and then only after the feeling, you get a thought. You get a script, a story about that person, and that script about that person is really reflected in the script about yourself and what you think about yourself, your standards, your values, how you're living your life. And so, I mean, I, I'm pretty much done with that point. But yeah, that's um, that's really what judgment is. That's so it's it's interesting, isn't it? And it's kind of it just makes sense, you know. If you and and when you are judging somebody, usually it's the same thing. You actually sure. seeing something that you don't appreciate in yourself, isn't it? It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's absolutely it's funny. Uh, ten times out of ten, probably. Yeah, it's a funny way how our, our brain work. Right. Well, um, how do you then? Um, in, no, I, I'm, I have a squirrel brain, so I just had a question that I, that left me. <laughs> but I'll go back. I'll go back. We were talking about being judgmental, and I wanted to talk about um, how do you? So, in terms of uh, negativity, and in terms of being, um, when you're dealing with people, and people are negative to you, you know, when you, when it's outside your control, it's not. So, it's not the judgment when you're projecting it. On sure. to yourself from people, but when somebody being um, openly negative, I think this is one of the things that a lot of uh, people I work with, and uh, when I when I do my like video challenges, they're always stopping because somebody in their maybe close environment or someone who is has an issue with their comfort zone <laughs> being pushed mm -hmm. is being openly negative. How do you deal with that? Or is it okay, kind of I'll advice? say I'll say two things about that, and we'll see where this goes. The first is you need to emotionally detach yourself from outcome. 
You just have to not care. And I, that's a difficult thing to do. I've been doing this for 24 years. I've been doing this for two and a half years. This is not, I don't do quick fixes, easy hacks, any of that stuff. I'm all about long-term transformational change. So that's, you know, how I'm speaking about this here. So the, you need to let go is, is that's the, that's the short answer in terms of, oh, there was another part there. Uh, negativity with the closed ones, letting go. Right. Oh gosh. I forgot what the second one was. We're so alike. Awesome. We're so alike. See, that's um, like the lesson here. <laughs> so you're you're letting go the judgment. Uh, if it comes back to me, I'll let you know. I swear it was really good, but. As a lot of people, a lot of people are afraid of um, what their actual, their real, the closest people will think. You know, their mm -hmm. mother, their father, their husband, or wife, or you know, children. Sometimes if they're in that age, you know, the older children. I find sure. myself that um, you have to, if you continue doing in a very kind way, if you mm -hmm. continue doing, unless it's an open conflict, then I, I do say try and minimize the con contact, you know, as much as you can, because not everybody will accept sure. it. But I find that when you continue doing what you're doing in a, in a kind way to them, they, they eventually always adjust if they love you. Yeah, they, they, they do. And uh, I remembered my second thing, and this is kind of an extreme thing. So we'll see what you think about it in your people. You have to be willing to lose. You have to be willing to give up. You have to be, so the, the thing is, this has to be something that you really want deep in here, like more than pretty much anything. Now, you know, getting judged on small stuff, whatever, that's, that's different. What I'm talking about is the stuff that you really want, that you really need, that you really value. You have to be willing to give up stuff in order to get it. Because not everything's going to go your way. You're going to have to give up relationships. You're gonna, you may have to give up a job. You may have to give up lots of stuff. The question is, how much do you really want it? If you really want it a lot, be willing to give up stuff. If not, Okay, make your choices, your compromises, do whatever you need to do. But the question is, how much do you want it? I think this is a brilliant, I'm glad you remembered it because I can tie this in uh, with what I've been recently talking about is, you know, your understanding your ideal client, understanding who you want to work with. I went through a period um, at the end of last year where I was trying to figure out who my ideal client was. This was a very painful journey for me. and. Mm -hmm. While I was doing that, what I did consciously is I really, really wanted to figure that out. I really, really only wanted to work with people that I love working with because I just kind of attracted people that I didn't like working with or sometimes we were, we were fine for a few years and then the relationship sort of died off, you know, I don't know. And I restarted refusing business that was coming in, you know, business that I didn't want to do. I wanted to do coaching and business from, I do some web design, so mm -hmm. web design gigs. And I kept refusing them because they were wrong people. That's what you're saying. And even though yeah. financially it made sense to not to refuse any work, but because you make a decision that from now onwards, mm -hmm. you want to only work with people that are a great match for you. You yeah. have to create void for these people to come. That means you have to say no to those who are wrong. And it applies yeah. kind of to every part of your life. So I totally understand what you're saying. And you know what? It paid off at the end to me. And there was Absolutely. one situation where I didn't say no. I wanted to say no. And then I said, ah, sure, I'll do that. It's a little cash gig. And it turned out to be such a train wreck that mm -hmm. I, within a week it was all gone. So I was right. My, my gut feeling was saying mm -hmm. to me, don't take it. So I, I love that. So basically to, just let go of things. You started with that, Alison. So let go of things that don't serve you anymore. And that's your yeah. letting go. That's your losing. And focus on the things that you really, really want. And, and do things, take inspired action, do things to get mm -hmm. to that point, right? But keep yeah. your eyes on the prize. You know, do have the hope that or and believe that sure. this is going to happen and, and embrace it. Um, you were talking about your course. And uh, before we go, I want you to maybe talk a little bit more about it, what it is, when we can, or if anyone okay. is interested. When, sure. Yeah. Let, let, Absolutely. So, so great news. I did production on my first course yesterday. It went awesomely. So I'm getting production shots, photos, videos, all that stuff pretty soon. My goal now, I need to see my budget for post-production. That's the expensive part. That's the part that takes so much time. Um, I'm thinking a soft launch May 1st, probably a more fuller launch, maybe mid-month. Honestly, we might be talking June. Just, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm working on it. It's, uh, I'm going to do it right. That's that's one of the things about me. I always believe in doing things right and taking the time that it needs. It's kind of like Blizzard Entertainment, if any of you people are into 
old school video games, you know, wait until it's, it's right. But uh, the principal photography and videography was done and that went really well. And so now I'm just waiting on post-production and stuff like that. So you will be seeing something from me May 1st. You'll be seeing something else from me mid-May. And then you almost definitely will be seeing something similar to a full launch in June, probably early June. Perfect. That's only around the corner. And if somebody wants to connect to you now, where do they go? So I'd say the best place is just hit me up on Facebook at Allison Lombard. It's the best place to hit me up. And um, yeah, just reach out to me there and I'm happy to talk to you and see what we can do. Alison, thank you so much for joining me today. I think that's, you know, there's so many takeaways uh, from this from this interview, guys. Be yourself. Embrace what you are. Embrace what you are. You know, it's, sometimes it's really worth it digging in and not everybody is clear on what uh, what is inside. Sometimes people feel stuck. Sometimes they feel confused. They don't know what they are. Do some digging because it's there, right? And then embrace it 100%. Be yourself and do things that make you happy. So you have the, you see the two glowing faces on this screen? That's how you feel and that's what I wish for you. Alison, thank you so much for joining me. I've had a blast talking to you today. And guys, Thank you so much for watching this and I will be with you tomorrow with another show up standout with an amazing guest and you will find out tomorrow noon Eastern 5 p.m. UK time. Join me on this page. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>